Hey guys and girls, I uh, just wanted to go over with you, uh, I had a quite a bit of comments on my LEDs on my bench, and so about uh, diagrams and codes, so I wanted to explain how uh, I'm doing this. It's very simple, um, a Darlington transistor controlling loads, and so uh, if we zoom in here, um, I have my uh, Uno here that has uh, the PWM outputs of, um, of 9, 10, and 11 here, and they're going simply RGB uh, on the outputs and then the outputs are going through a 1K resistor and they're going to the base of a TIP122 Darlington transistor. Basically what this is is the heavy duty switch that does all the heavy lifting because you can't run uh, one of these uh, 3 watt LEDs from uh, one of your pins of your Arduino. It'll take too much power. So, and um, over here, I have some LEDs on a board that, I mean, I got these boards at a, a surplus shop a long time ago. I change the LEDs and the resistors, and they run off 12 volts, and uh, they're very bright uh, white LEDs. Now, I have 12 volts coming in here uh, into this board, and so the 12 volt positive is going to the LEDs, and then the negative is just shared on the negative rail with all these transistors. Um, these guys are switching the negative side of the load. And so this is a common anode uh, LED. So the anode is to the 5 volt rail. And then uh, this guy here, remember, is 12 volts. And so that's separate. So these guys run off 12, and these guys run off 5. But the transistor can switch the same. Uh, Darlington is an exponential transistor, so you can switch a, a big voltage with a small voltage, basically. So I can switch 12 volts on and off here uh, with 5 volt logic from the Arduino. So um, if we go, and I have a little sketch written up, and uh, as you can see here, it says a serial monitor, so I'm going to hit blue 55, and I'm just going to hit enter. And uh, what that does is it puts my, <laughs> destroys my camera here. Um, how about blue uh, 20? Um, what that does is it just puts that, um, the number is just the PWM output, and so uh, I have a range from 0 to 255, and everything fades. Uh, I did a target value where everything fades up and down, nothing nothing is jerky, so if I did uh, blue uh, 0, um, it'll just fade out to blue from 20, so it's a pretty fast fade. Uh, if I did red uh, 200, um, they'll fade up there. And then I could do red zero. Now those are all running at five volts. Um, if I type in white uh, ten, let's put those on really really dim. You could see that the white is now uh, is now coming on powered by the twelve volts. And so uh, that's how I'm I'm doing that is through these Darlington transistors. Uh, I can do white two fifty five and it'll open up to full twelve volts and blow my camera up. So um, Put that back down to to uh, to zero there, so you can see that's basically how I'm doing this. I'll put the schematic and some code up. Um, I plan on making an RGB controller that that does this and a little bit more, and I'll have a, a post uh, a little bit down the road on that. Hi guys, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to show you external power, and I will in a schematic, is this right here. Um, I wrote this sketch to boot up, and what it does is it color cycles the RGB and then turns on the white and does some things like that. And let's just do that real quick uh, now. Uh, again, these these guys here, these these are two LEDs wired in series with a with a resistor in them, uh, running off of uh, this power here, which is 12 volts. So um, this guy right here, this RGB LED is running off just the 5 volt power rail here, this common anode. So I'm gonna hit reset on the Arduino, and it's gonna do its thing, and it's gonna flash the individual colors, and it's gonna flash the white, and it's gonna start to do this, and pow! Now. We get a message like this um, because USB. It basically it's uh, it's too much power for the USB port, and so it's a self-resetting fuse inside uh, my Mac. Uh, thank goodness because uh, we don't want to hurt that. And actually, I'm going to stop doing this here. So uh, that's a good reason to power externally because some things draw too much power. Now I just unplugged uh, the blue side of that. Yeah, it's still too much power. So I'll unplug the red side of it here, and then it'll keep resetting until it finally it finally boots up. But that's one reason that you need to bring in external power 
then you can't use the power that's uh, provided with your Arduino through a USB cable because it's simply not enough uh, amperage. Hey guys, this is the sport I'm using. I might get asked questions about that, so I'll just do this shot real quick. Uh, these LEDs look like they're almost on a little bit, but um, it's the coating on, just the white LEDs. And if you flip this guy over, uh, you'll see that the positive and negative come in here. Um, it's then carried uh, down some power rails, um, connected with a diode uh, right there, and then the power rails go down. And then there's just a resistor, a 47 ohm resistor, uh, putting two of these in series. So there's six circuits of two LEDs in series, and uh, that's what makes up this, uh, this little board here. Hi guys, it's Jeremy. I uh, just explained the powering uh, 12 volt things with an Arduino with a Darlington transistor, and I wanted to draw this out so it's uh, it's real simple. I'm not sure how clear it was on the video. So uh, here we have a TIP 122 uh, and proof that I'm not an artist, and a couple of LEDs and a 12 volt supply, and here is our Arduino down here and a 1K resistor. So. Um, the LEDs, um, we can have those in series, and so uh, we can wire those in series. Uh, and actually here we want to put a, a, a resistor here, um, 470K or 470 ohm, whatever, whatever value that is according to the LEDs and, and the power supply, but it doesn't have to be 12 volt. But um, what I did over there was I had this going to the positive supply of the 12 volt. Um, this guy here... Uh, the other end of our, our LEDs are going to our emitter on the transistor. Um, and the collector is actually going to the, uh, the negative supply of the battery. Now, this is basically a switch. You know, this is your switch, your load, and your, uh, and your source. And then this guy right here, uh, if you take a 1K resistor, you know, and you say, okay, I'm going to output this on pin number three. This will control this uh, transistor to dim those LEDs, to turn on and off the LEDs. Uh, the circuit will not work right now. One thing you have to do is take this ground and join the ground. So the ground is common, and so that this uh, has a complete circuit uh, through ground to control the transistor. And so... Uh, you can run off USB power for your sketch, but the USB power is not powering the LEDs, and so you don't have to worry about big current draws from your Arduino here uh, and burning out your chip or uh, popping the fuse inside your computer uh, uh, for your USB. So hopefully that's a little bit simpler. Um, uh, if you have any questions, just post them and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks.